Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 10th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow and JavaScript, where we are clearing our concept of JavaScript fundamentals and we are dealing with topics like values, variables, operators, if else, for loop, Boolean logic, and also like objects, arrays, classes, all these things. So we are clearing the whole JavaScript fundamental. Definitely that can help you all the people who don't know about programming and want to learn about JavaScript fundamental things because this fundamental series is going to be very, very important for you if you want to do any large in future, any large programming in JavaScript. And if you go to in a different module also, doesn't matter, you need the fundamental concept. Also, after this series, I'm going to start the service node development. So I want people should clear the JavaScript fundamental before they come into the service node development because this JavaScript knowledge, our knowledge is very, very important for service node development. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and the output area, which is the browser console and let's start today's class. Okay, so I'm in my Visual Studio and this is the Chrome output. So in the last class, we have understood a very, very important concept, guys. Uh, which is the Boolean logic and the truthy and falsy values. This is very, very important because in throughout the programming, whenever we will do the object class also, this concept we are going to use a lot. Boolean is one of the most important data type as well as concept in JavaScript. I told you, right? Number, string and the Boolean. This three data type we are going to use a lot. So in the last class, we have learned that what are the falsy values, okay? And what are the truthy values? And how with the help of, uh, you know, if and else we can determine that. That was a very important one. Now, let me shut it down the class five. So I'll just make it like this and I'll start class six where we are going to learn very important things again in JavaScript and especially this is the ES6 version JavaScript. Uh, it has been implemented, uh, which is the template literal and which we are going to see how useful it is and how important it is, okay? And also let me tell you this template literals features is not available yet in ServiceNow yet. Okay, still ServiceNow is using the ES5 version. Okay, but this is implemented in ES6. So very soon, maybe we are going to see it in ServiceNow also. So don't worry developers, we have different methods of template literals. So it is very simple concept. So I'll try to explain this. So now, okay, let's start with this. Let first name, equal to Pritam. Uh, let last name equal to Kankuli. Let, uh, what should I say? Designation, maybe. It's a variable. And let's put it as service now developer. And let YouTube channel and this is the tech with pre. Okay. Now these are the four variables I have declared. Now first I will show you without using template literals how we can print that and that's a very simple uh, process and also I'll show you the you know how you can print it in the next line that is very very important. So I'll just type console.log and normally I'll print it like this. So uh, so I'll do like my name is, so I'll give a space here. I'll concatenate it, right? You know how to do that. So I'll put first name, then, so I'll add a space here like this. And then I will add the last name done. Then my name is, okay. So my name is Pritam Ganguly. I work as a service node developer. Maybe I want to like this. So I work as a, so I work as a, again, I'm going to give a space plus and the designation. Perfect. Then hit a plus again. And so, and also I have a YouTube channel name, YouTube channel channel take with take with pre so i'll again give a space and then i will type the youtube channel variable all right 
so let me let me maximize the screen so that you can see uh, how big it is uh, that's literally something now i'm going to show the output so i'll just make it like this i'll save it and you see my name is pritam ganguly i work as a service now developer also i have a youtube channel uh, take with free okay so suppose now it is working fine but we had to do a lot of effort so let me give a full stop at the end so again to give that i need to use like this full stop so again i'll save it and i will refresh now it looks good so service now developer and so i need to give a space so you can see the trouble right so so here developer and now here i need to give a space save it and refresh so you can see now the space is there so we had to do a lot of things okay now let me again maximize the screen now if i want to now put this particular line that uh, also i have a youtube channel this particular part in the new line so right now you can see uh, also have a youtube channel showing in the same line so i want to put it on a new line okay so how i can do that simply i will go to here so from and maybe so i'm going to write is like this so to print in the new line i need to use the i need to use the backslash n okay and then like this so what i did is that simply like i print the space here between first name and last name like this i did the same thing but i made a character here that's called the special character which is the slash n you could say so that helps me to print the line so print it in a new line so i'll save it come here i'll just refresh you can see my name is pritam ganguly i work as a service now developer and also i have a youtube channel take with free so if i maximize it now you, it looks like uh, looks better you can see so now with the help of the slash n i can come to the new line so anywhere i put slash n it would help me to come to the new line so maybe i want to print my uh, channel name in the new line so i'll just do the same thing plus and then comma slash n okay and then plus is fine so i'll save it again come here refresh you see the take with three name comes in the bottom now what is updated in es6 that is the template literals and you see how we can do all these things in a pretty quick manner and very fast also so i'll come here i'll try to print the same thing console.log okay now this time i'm going to use a backstick not the comma but the backstick backstick you can find in in your keyboard just you know above of the tab button in your keyboard that's the backstick button so it's like this okay is the backstick now how it works so now i'm going to write so again i'm going to write the same thing my name is now here i need to put the variable right my name is and then space like i given in here also now here i need to put the variable so how i put the variable so in template literals you put the variable as like this so you have to put the dollar sign first and then and he now you need to put the curly brace so this is a curly brace you can see now i need to put the variable name here which is the first name done now i need to give a space so i'm not going to give space like this anymore there is no concatenation so normally space and again i need to declare the last name so i'll do dollar curly brace and then here last name simple done then i need to put a comma here so that's it i work as a now again a variable time so dollar brace and designation now in the second line on the next line i want to put the and also have a youtube channel part so i'll just press enter and i'll type here and also i have a youtube channel space and the name of the channel which is the stoller curly brace and youtube channel that's it now see how it would show the output so i'll refresh it 
you see my name is pritam ganguli comma i work as a service now developer okay then in the next line and also i have a youtube channel take with pri absolutely fine and also if i want to put the channel name in the next line i'll just print enter i'll just save it and i'll refresh it you see how quickly it is working in template literals which is the updated one in es6 and simply we are declaring the variable mentioning dollar and under the curly brace we are putting the variable name that's it and by simply if i need to go to the next line i can simply use that and also how cool it is so that's the upgraded one is the es6 one and i'm really hoping that this one would come in service now also very soon but again i told you this is the javascript fundamental and the es6 which is the latest one which we are going to deal with so definitely i need to show you this one i think this is a gem now also there is a benefit so whenever you are declaring a string you can declare it you know not only for concatenate purpose you normally you can declare it as a string like this so my name is pritam so simply you can paste and you can see my name is pritam so normally instead of giving i told you right if it's a single comma or double comma that defines a string also so now from es6 also if you put a backstick that also define a string okay so you see with the example of template literals how easy you can concatenate uh, and you can work right okay so you start practicing it if you're practicing javascript but like i said like i said service now is also evolving and also upgrading the versions so es6 would come very quickly in service now so don't worry all the service now developers okay so i hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'm sure you are going to use the template literals it's very easy and very useful one okay if you find this video helpful hit the like button don't forget to let me know in the comment section how you like the video and also share with your friends subscribe the channel see you in my next video bye bye take care